Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Zero Analyst. This is the day 51 of our 100 days SQL challenge. Today we're going to solve one of the really challenging questions that was asked in Cisco Data Analyst SQL interview. This is one of the hardest SQL problem that you may have ever solved. This question was posted by Nishant Kumar who is a data engineer at IBM and a lot of users has already solved this problem. Let's see the problem statement then we will see how to solve this problem using logical approach in Postgres SQL. So let's go ahead and start the video. You are given a table which has few information. Let's see the column. We have content ID, we have customer ID, content type and the content text. This is the most important column of this table. Let's see the problem. It says convert the first letter of each word found in the content text to uppercase while keeping the rest of the letter to lowercase. So from here each word first letter we need to convert to upper and rest of the letter we need to convert to lower and we need to return two columns one is called original text one is called modified text which is going to having the first letter as a capital and rest of the letter as a lower case. This is what we need to do using SQL. I have already created table and inserted all this data to solve this problem which you can find from the video descriptions. So here is my table and you can see all this data. So we need to understand one thing here we have one column which is called content ID which is the primary key okay so each content is basically unique here and you can see this is the column which is the important column which is called content text so from this column each word first letter we need to convert to upper rest of the letter we need to convert to lower and then we need to return this column which is the original column and the modified column this is what is the requirement and we're going to use a very simple approach to solve this problem first i'm going to split each of this board using this space that you can see each of this board having a space right so using this space i can split this board right and that is the approach that i am going to use so i'm using postgres sql so i'm going to use a string to array function you can use a simply split functions in mysql so let's first go ahead and kind of select the columns that uh, we need I'm going to select content ID is the first column. Then I'm going to select the content uh, which is called text. So content text and I'm going to name it call original original content. Okay. And I would select this content text one more time. Okay. So let's run it. You can see that we have selected content ID. We have selected content text which is the original content and we have selected the content again the original content so this one we are going to split using this space that you have okay now to split we have something called which is called string to array function so for that i would just go ahead and kind of say string to array okay so first let me show you we have string to array string to array functions and i just need to tell what is the delimiter so if you see each words are separating by space so i would just give space as a delimiter so now if i just run it it's going to create an array still the datas are not split but if you see they are inside now an array okay next what we do is that we need to unnest it okay now you know here into understand as soon as i unnest it so for each word it is going to create a new row and hello is going to be one row and word is going to be one row so each row would be basically split in different different row this data is going to remain same okay so we will say here unnest this is a specific postgres sql function if i now execute it you will see number of row at the moment we have 10 it is going to increase now okay now if you see only for the content one it has splitted all this word into different different row so right now we have kind of seven row that is only for the content one same way if you see for the content two we have now kind of for three row right four row because there was four word so four word split it into four row same way if you see content three so for content three it is split it into again another four row so each content based on the number of word we had it is split it into different different rows these things remain same later on we will do a group by by these things to combine this text okay so this one i am just going to save it as a word okay so i'm just going to save it as a words so let's save it as a word and uh, this is fine okay now what i will do is that i am going to save this in a cte okay because we are going to use this column to solve this problem okay so i would save this in a cte and i'm going to just call it maybe cte you can just give any name whatever you want to call it so this is fine i would just call it maybe table one okay t1 so i would just put this inside the parenthesis now let's say i am selecting this content id okay next i am selecting this original content next i am selecting this word 
so from where i'm getting all this which is called from t1 okay so from t1 i'm getting all this let me show you you can see right now we have everything 35 rows so original row was only 10 but now we have 35 rows basically what is happening here is that each word has been split into new row so remaining things remain same here okay so this is fine now what i will do is that i am going to use some smart function here okay so first of all we need to convert the first letter of each word right so this word first letter is going to be h so we want h in the uh, capital and the remaining are in the lower okay so some word has the remaining in the capital so make sure that we need to convert the remaining into lower okay only the first word into what which is capital so for that i can use a left function to access the first word okay so i would just go ahead and say from this word i'm accessing the first word okay so let me just run it if i just run this function you will see that it's going to kind of give me the first word okay now you can see i am accessing the first word using the left function so i'm saying left word one so i get the hello out of hello i get h out of word i get w out of this i get t right so this is what fine what i can do is that i can convert it using upper function so right now i would just go ahead and say upper okay so this is going to convert it into upper so let's wait if we now see it is converted into upper great okay so next what i need to do is that we would need to use the same principle and we need to convert remaining into lower okay now here is a problem how do you find the remaining characters right so let's do this way so let's say first of all i am just going to use a right function okay so if i use a right function if i use word and here i need to tell how many characters i am trying to access okay so different different word may have a different number of characters right so if i give it kind of two it's only going to give me the two characters right if you see it here it's giving two now how do i know how many characters i need see i need everything except the first characters right so for that what i can do is that i would need to find out the length okay i would say length minus one because the one character we have already converted the capital so except the first character i need everything so for that i would just say length so length gth length function is going to return the number of characters i have in this word okay let me just run it so you will see that it is telling the number of characters that we have so in this hello we have five and uh, world we have six and here we have four okay now i would just say length minus one okay so that is how i will have basically four right so that means i'm minusing one characters so this what i can use in my right function okay so in my right function instead of giving it two I am just going to put this kind of function which is going to basically return the length total length minus one okay so this is fine if I just now run it you will see that right now in from hello I have h converted into h which is here in the capital letters and the remaining here I have not converted still if you, if you see here it is still showing est in the capital letters we need to convert this into lower case so what I would do is that I would outside use another lower function okay so right now it is converted in the lower you can see right now hello h is capital here and here in the lower case it is converted even if you see this test est was capital so here it is est converted into lower okay so this is what we need now i don't need this word i am just going to comment it out and i can combine this together so that is going to be my one word okay so what i will do is that to com combine this together i can use a concate function so i would just go ahead and say concat and uh, i have a comma here so this concat is going to combine this together and now i have one word which is converted the first letter into the capital and the remaining into the lower okay so my problem is almost solved what i just need to do is that i just need to group by this which is combinations content id and the original content then i can just sum all this together using something called string aggregation function okay so that is going to combine everything together and i am going to use the separator as a space okay so this is what i am going to do here if you see everything is kind of almost solved okay now let's go ahead and do the next task so here i have this which is this right this is kind of combined uh, that word okay and uh, i would just go ahead and now do a group by here okay so i would say group by what which is going to be this content id next i would do a group by by this original content and here i would just need to do a aggregation function which is called string egg function to combine all this text together for each of this group so all this text together for this group which is called one and hello world same way the second group is going to be this and uh, all this uh, together right now here is the thing when you combine two text using string aggregation functions you need to give the separator so it is called string 
so it is called a string egg okay so here we have something like it so you can give all your string columns which is this for us okay and i'm going to put it basically here let's put everything in one line okay. and i would just give a comma and the next line i would just give the separator as a space okay so that it looks the same as the original context and i am selecting content id and the original content so i'm doing group by by this two basically for creating a combinations group so in this group it all this contest which is this still here belongs to the first group right which is one and uh, till here right all this belongs to the first group so this is what we are doing and this separator is just going to add the space while we combine all this text together now let's go ahead and run it you can see that we have the solutions here okay so right now we can just do a order by order by which is called this content id okay and you will see that we have the solution so hello world this is a test now if you see hello world this is a test so all this rest of the text are converted to lower case and all this the initial character of each word is converted to proper which is the upper case right so for each you can see for this welcome so w is converted to upper case and rest are converted to lower case so everything is solved right so this is how we have solved this problem today guys now we just need to select this two column which is going to be this original content and the modified content so for that what i can do is that i can go ahead and uh, save uh, these things that i am getting these things in another cte okay so here i can just put this entire query in another cte and i would just need to give a comma here to start one more city and i'm going to call it t2 and uh, as and then i'm going to select here the things that i need so from t2 i'm going to select this original content and i'm going to select this which is called modified content okay and all these things i'm getting from which is called t2 okay so t t2 okay so this is fine we can just run this entire query and we will be getting it so i would don't need the content id but i need the original content so let's run it again and uh, we will have our answers so here if you see we have got the original content and we have got the modified content so if you want to see the first word of the original content the h is small letter here we have converted into the capital letters and if you see the remaining are the smaller which is the lower case here if you see this test okay for this test we have converted the first into the capital it was all already in the capital but est it is converted in the lower okay so you can verify it we have kind of solved this problem today that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching the video till the end if you have any other approach to solve this problem do let me know in the comment box also how you're going to solve this problem in mysql what is going to be your approach write me in the comment box have a good day take care bye bye